I built this cheap fume extractor setup for my shop and I'm going to show you guys how you can do it too. So to give you a quick rundown, I built this all with aluminum square tubing, one inch I believe, and a piece of aluminum pipe here. And this is all Amazon cheap ducting that I got for 20 bucks. And yeah, I got it run with some ducting fittings here to an inline fan that I got used for probably 100 bucks. And then I got it run to outside. There's a damper out there that lets, lets the air out. I got it on a three-speed switch here, plugged in, and that switch goes to here. Turn that on. You get the idea. So yeah, now you guys can see how I made it. Thanks for tuning in. So here I am cutting the duct that goes through the wall for the fan so I can keep it real tight and uh, be able to screw it right into the wall there. And then now I'm building the base for the arm. So I'm getting the plate all set up, welding these studs on so that I can bolt these bearings on, marking them out there. Cut them, cut them down, weld them up. These are called pillow block bearings, by the way. You can get them on Amazon. I like to TIG weld everything and just find it way easier, way more control and less smoke in the shop so that part's nice so drilling all the mounting holes here to mount it into the studs and i start getting the, the square tube in the shop here start chopping it up i like the bandsaw a lot for stuff like this because it doesn't make a mess of it and i did a lot of test fitting on this and i was using the fixture table quite a bit so that was nice i was basically winging it on these gussets here because i didn't really know what length i would need so i just cut one made it fit tacked it up and then cut the other one made it work too and they ended up being the perfect distance from the wall and it's all real solid now so here's me clamping an angle to the back side of these uh these pieces as i'm welding it because aluminum likes to pull quite a bit and this is kind of a way you can try to minimize that distortion test fit on the wall here screw that guy in bolt it in for this whole thing, I kind of just built it as I went and put it on the wall, measure it as I go kind of thing. That's the easiest way I've found to build something like this. Here I am drilling and tapping the tensioner bolts that I was showing you guys earlier. It's not the best system, just considering that I used steel bolts and it's tightening up on an aluminum pipe like that. It kind of digs into the pipe, so I would do a different system if I did it again. And I'll probably have to switch it out because it still kind of swings all over the shop, but live and you learn. Here's me making some bolts to mount these clamps on the main uh, structure there. I ended up not having the right bolts, so I had to make some. But yeah, now I'm starting to make the pivot points for the main boom there. Aluminum's super easy to drill through, so that was kind of a nice treat. Cut it to size and then weld these lugs on. Position tack everything just to make sure it all fits and works good. So I had to add these gussets on the back because I, I didn't think about it, but it, it started bending the plate as a, it got some pressure on it. So I had to put these gussets in to give it some downward support on the top and bottom. But now it's real solid. So yeah, piece by piece, put it in, try it out, go on to the next one. So now I'm cutting the, the rest of the pivot point lugs, drill them all out make it nice and easy, cut them all at once. This saw works awesome on aluminum. It, it cuts it just like wood. You can use a wood saw too. A lot of people don't know that. But yeah, anything beats a zip cut for cutting aluminum because that just works terribly in my experience. If you paid attention in the first part, you notice that I don't have that drill press anymore. I found that it was too cheap and didn't work that good. The bell kept slipping all the time and I ended up getting a uh, I used one, a real old school one that I uh, restored and refurbished, so it's a lot better quality than that thing. But here I am trying it all out, making sure it moves all around good as it did. And yeah, then I just start drilling holes in the main structure to put the clamps on to support the ductwork. The aluminum's super nice to work with, so this was all pretty pretty easy stuff. And then yeah, assemble the, the duct in there. That didn't take long whatsoever. Cut it, then mount it to the end cap there. And now here's a video of me using it. So thanks a lot for watching guys. 
Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed. If you got any questions, just don't be afraid to ask. And yeah, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.